Ladies and gentlemen, today I'm going to be digging up and dividing Hemrotellus, also known as a daylily. Beautiful flowers, as the name suggests. They only last for a day, so first of all tools, sharp spade. As you can see, nice and sharp. And a sharp knife. That's all you need. So first of all, let's get the camera in place. Wait a minute. Two seconds. It's raining today, it's absolutely freezing. Yeah, the day lilies, they normally need dividing, probably after three or four years. It just rejuvenates them and gives you a, a better bunch of flowers. So, are you alright there? Yeah, I think the saw up nearly. Are you alright there? I think so. So, get the spade. What you want to be doing is get it all the way around. You can see it right up against the edge here. So, move this a little bit more. That's the one. Uh, yeah, this has been in probably five years actually, this one. like this, all you need to do is straight down the middle, like so, and then, up, and onto this side, wow, right, so all I need to do now is get the knife in there and put it into smaller pieces. So it won't be a minute. See, that's both both of the lump, clumps dug up. And while we're digging up, these came over there. So, as you can see, this is a really good example. I can pop that on, and that will give me a really good plant. Probably sell it at the car boot later on this year. So, alright. If you want some decent flowers this year, you need to make sure you the clump that you're actually taking away from the main part is big enough that it's not going to lose too much root when you're dividing it so like, in like so that's it coming away and that is a lovely new plant that'll make an excellent new plant that so sorry about the camera work a bit unsteady it's actually got back where where the main clump was and what I'll do there is I'll cut, I'll do, a, do another one. I'll use a spade this time because this is a lot thicker, as you can see. So that's three lots. I'll just put the camera back here. You get that. So let's have a look at that. Yeah, that's three lots there. We can all go back in the same hole. So I've dug. That's one there. One there. And one there. That will give them enough room to spread out and grow. So, once they're like so, I'm going to pump them to the same depth. Like that. I'm using a peat based compost. So that's that piece there. That piece there. What's that going on? That piece there. And then just fill it with compost. Right, so. 
like I said, run it to, to the crown of the plant where it was planted before. There we go. And all you need to do then, give them a good water. and that's your deal it is dug up and divided so what you want to do with your smaller ones are get your pots like so you can see put like so compost all the way around give it good shape And then give it a good water and that doesn't need to be in a greenhouse that can get somewhere outside until you're ready to plant it or leave it in this year so it gets a bit bigger so that's daily so i have to dig up and divide any questions don't hesitate to ask please give me a thumbs up if you like and then please subscribe thank you bye